Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, today, I actually wanted us to just have a talk. I just wanted to talk about what Ruby means to me and how important this series actually is to me. So I just wanted to sit down and talk to you all about that, and before we get started, none of this is scripted. This is all my own thoughts, so I just wanted to sit down and talk to you all about this. So, sit back, relax, and I hope you all enjoy. So, Ruby came out in July 18th, 2018. That was when Volume 1 started. And of course, if you were to go back to November 5th of 2012, that's when the Red Trailer was released. And the first time I had also ever saw Ruby, which was through the Red Trailer, after Season 10 of Red vs. Blue. And to think that it's been five years since this series actually started. And I really wanted to talk about this, considering that... We have finally hit this five-year mark, and yes, while there have been some problems with Ruby, at the same time, there have been some good things too. So, the series has given us both good and bad, but, you know, realistically, it's still a very important thing to me, and I will always cover both the good and the bad, regardless of what it may be. But, the thing is, Ruby still holds a very special place in my heart. It, it holds a very special place to me. I mean, looking at its plot, to its characters... I mean, there's so much of it that it's just brilliant when it came to a lot of things. Volume 1 through 3 really shows you the passion and the love that Monty really put into a series for all of us as the fans. And it's something that when I go back on those volumes, I just see so much of what he tried to do. So much love and passion that he threw into the series for everyone. It was just spectacular to see this. And it showed that he really did care about the fans. And as much as he tried to do on the side, I mean, it was fun tried to interact with everybody, and it made me feel like I was in a community that I was welcome to. And it's been a very beautiful thing, I have to say. I really enjoy the community. I enjoy all of you. You all are wonderful. I enjoy talking to all of you. And, you know, it's just looking back on everything, it's just the series has been such an enjoyable series. Some of laughs, some of sadness, some of just sure joy. I mean, the series really had a lot of emotional weight to it. And, you know, to me, it's an inspiration. To me, it is something that I just can't help but always enjoy. And, you know, Volumes 4 and 5, yeah, they, they have their problems. And, and that's the truth. But it doesn't stop me. It doesn't weigh down on me from enjoying the series. And this series did a lot for me, believe it or not. And, you know, I did get friends into the series, and, you know, they really did enjoy it. And, believe it or not, the series really did get me through some trying times. And it's very special to me in that way. And I always remember looking forward to it each week. And then, obviously, after the season had ended, obviously I would wait until the next Ruby season, until the next volume to be released. And, you know, it, it was just wonderful. And I have to say that there are so many characters that are special too in the series to me that are relatable and just enjoyable. I mean, Team Ruby, I relate to a tremendous amount in multiple different ways between each character. And they all have a special place in my heart, if that makes sense, as well as each character, because I see a bit of myself in each one of them. And at the same time, what I want to look at too is I want to look at the fights. I want to look at the whole thing that really got all of this started is the fights, the action, the choreography, it was just brilliant. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing to watch. If you go back to it, you can definitely see that Monty himself understood choreography. And as to me, who is an artist, it really has helped my art as well improve. And, you know, it was just something that was really beautiful to watch. The red trailer just threw me into awe. And, of course, the white trailer only did more of that. Each trailer obviously threw more and more. And I really did enjoy what was started through these trailers because they were really his ideas. They were his dream. They were his goal. They were what he was trying to throw out there for the fans. Something that he just wanted to do as a fun series. And... It really was fun. It, it was so enjoyable to watch, and you know, each trailer was interesting in its own unique way. They had their own cool elements, something that made them stand out, but at the same time, something that was, in a sense, similar. The choreography and the fights, of course, each character moved and fought in their own way, but 
they were all action packed. They were all filled with wonder. They were all filled with amazement. Something that just sparked interest. That just sparked excitement. And I loved each of these trailers. And they all really got me interested in each of the characters. I mean, looking at it, I thought Ruby was interesting not just by her color scheme of her clothing, but at the same time, she was a girl with a scythe that was also a sniper rifle. I mean, that was insane. The Crescent Rose was cool. Weiss and her glyphs fighting off against the Armageddon. That was something else that was very impressive. Blake and Adam on the train fighting off against a bunch of bots, and then Yang herself fighting a junior's club. I mean, all these were impressive. They were interesting in their own way, and they were beautiful. They were just beautiful bits of art that just were wonderful. And this is a showing of beauty when it comes to art, a mastery. And Monty worked very hard to get to this point, and as an artist myself, it really sparked my interest for beautiful fight scenes, for wonderful characters, for all this interesting stuff that he came up with, showing his creativity and his masterful work with choreography. It was just a brilliant combination, and I must say, he definitely deserves credit. And he not only sparked my interest, but I'm sure he sparked tons of yours. Because, of course, the first big point to Ruby was the action, because it is an action-based series. So that was one of its biggest selling points. And looking at the not just the fights, but the characters and their designs, they were brilliant. Each of these ideas, they really matched their characters. They really fit them in a very good way. And the color schemes and the patterns, they looked great for each character, as well as giving each character their own unique emblem was another cool take on each of these characters. I really love what has been thrown into all of them. And they all have unique characteristics. It's not like they're a copy-paste of one another. They are their own characters. And that's another thing that I tend to appreciate because when you're making a series, you know, making characters with their own characteristics, with their own backstories, it's obviously important. You don't want to just copy-paste a character to be like another one or make them just bland with no personality because then people don't relate to that. And I can see myself relating to a multitude of characters. And, you know, I must say that the plots as well were very good. And the storylines for each character, when character-driven episodes occurred, they were just wonderful. They were filled with just enjoyment, and you just feel like you could relate to them, because at least I know I could. And I'm pretty certain that some of you watching this could relate to the characters, if not all of you, because, you know, that's the one thing that really can also throw a person into a series, is characters that people can relate to. That's one of the biggest things as well that's very important. And I have to say that really I just enjoyed how the characters were thrown out there with their own personalities, with their plot lines, with their character-driven episodes. And it really drew me in with these characters and how they were. It's just, I sat there and I thought, well, I, I love to learn more about these characters. And I will say this, I did relate to Jean at one point. I did. And I thought him and Pira with their training and everything, I thought that was great too. Jean being bullied, you know, I relate to that because... I myself was bullied a lot um, growing up, and it was tough, but Ruby really helped me through those trying times, I guess you could say. And it was beautiful to actually see that this issue was actually tackled, to see that, you know, important issues such as these, even though they may seem very small and insignificant to some people, they really touch on to other people, if that makes sense. People who went through these issues or these ordeals. They relate to that, and they think, well, hey, I'm not the only one who goes through this problem. And it was something that hit me very hard. And getting to see that these issues were actually being tackled and being addressed in a plot line, and it shows that other people go through these problems. That maybe you feel like yourself that, oh, well, why does this always happen to me? But it shows you that other people do go through these problems as well. And it makes you relate. It makes you feel very connected to that character and what they're going through. And I felt like this with a multitude of characters. And it's just a special thing to me. And, you know, looking at 
this series as a whole, looking at everything to it, I just think that it was very thought out. And some people may give, you know, a couple arcs or so saying, oh, well, why why did this have to happen, or why, why was this here? Well, it's not bad. I do like the slice of life moments. And, you know, some people think that, well, I really like the action more than anything else, but to me, it's not just the action. It was also the slice of life moments. These moments were very fun to watch. They were humorous. They were interesting. And they really shed some light on some situations. And I really have to say that I really did enjoy them. I really loved these slice of life moments because it showed that not only did Monty have some sense of humor, but he knew how to tackle certain issues. And that's a good thing. And and I really felt connected to the series because of this. And, you know, it takes a lot to to work through when it comes to that. It it really can help you push you through some hard times. It can help you feel better about yourself. And sometimes even inspire you to grow as a person. Sometimes it can help you move forward. And, you know, it may sound strange saying that, oh, a series did this for you. But it can really help you through those trying times. It can help you through the difficult moments in your life. And sometimes it can even throw the positivity, I guess you could say, into it. And that's a good thing, because if a series can enlighten you and it can lighten your mood or or lighten the issues that are going through your life, it's a good sign. It's doing its job, in a sense, if that's part of what it's meant to do. And, you know, I have to say that I think I grew along with Ruby, in a sense, because Monty himself even stated that he wanted the series to mature with its audience. And I see that. I really see that. I think Volume 3 was the proving ground for that one. And I really felt that. I really felt that this series was maturing. When it hit Volume 3, it really felt like it matured a lot. And, I mean, you know, it's just Volume 3 was was a big one. It was a big one to take in on a lot of issues, but it was good. It really hit the right note. And it was special to me as well. Volumes 1 through 3 are just so special to me, even to this very day. But, you know, I have to say that with what Ruby's done for my life, for how it's actually helped me, it's really pushed me along, I have to say. It has really helped me in a lot of ways. And it's really helped me grow as a person. It's helped me to move forward with a lot of things. And for a series to sit there and be entertaining, but to push you out of depression to push you out of sadness, out of those dark times of your life that may be filled with fear, sadness, even anger, and to push that and completely 180 your mood and make it happy and positive and, and fun and fulfilling. To be able to provide these emotions all through a series that is meant for entertainment, that's a good thing. That shows you that the series is doing a great job. And I can't thank this series enough for making me feel this way, for making me feel better and more positive towards myself and my life, despite some of the grueling situations that I've gone through. And it made me feel better about myself. It made me grow as a person. It made me really inspired to push forward rather than to fall back and stay in this rut of of how I felt. And, you know, to, to make me happier... That's a great thing. It's it's a great thing. And it may sound crazy to say that a series can make you happier. But I believe that it can. And Ruby is proof of making my life better. It's proof of a series that really pulled me out of just a lot of hardships. And it really helped me move forward with my life in a lot of ways. And maybe to some of you it has too. And that's another big reason why it holds a special place in my heart. But... The one thing I want to talk about now is the characters and why I relate to at least Team Ruby. I'll at least talk about that. I relate to each character of Team Ruby for a big reason. And it's because, like I said before, I see a lot of myself in each of these characters in one way or another. And they all are special to me in their own unique ways. You know, they're all different, but yet they're all special. And I have to say that the reason why I relate to Ruby so much... It's because, yeah, I was a nerd and a geek. I love video games. You know, I love Star Wars. I love Star Trek. I'm a big movie fan. 
And also, not only that, but I love a multitude of anime. I mean, I'm a huge nerd when it comes to anime and a bunch of the stuff I've watched. And when it came to Ruby's character, understanding how she's a weapons geek, I really get that because I have a passion for the stuff that I really enjoy. But it's not just that, but the social anxiety that Ruby goes through, I get that too because growing up was hard. And looking at a lot of things, you know, when I was a child, I was very timid, I was very scared, and very shy, and I had a hard time even making friends, and it was very difficult for me, and, you know, I understand Ruby here, trying to fit in, I get that entirely, and I was an outcast for a big amount of my life, and looking at Yang as well, having the anxiety issues, I get that, because as long as I can remember, I've dealt with anxiety, and it's not fun. You know, it's it's really not. This was an issue I really would have hoped to see them deal more with when it came to Yang. And unfortunately, they really didn't. But for the moments that they did, I appreciated that and I understood that. I got that. I related to that. And the depression that she went through, I dealt with that a lot of my life as well. And to really see Yang go through what she has a bit, I mean, yes, it was not really well thrown out there. The exposition wasn't that great but to see it it makes sense i get that and you know a lot of her other issues i get as well so thinking about yang i understand her character too and blake blake's a big one i understand too because a lot of my issues growing up i ran away from my situations i, I would run away from problems because i didn't ever want to deal with them because they were something that, to me, were, were terrifying. They were stress-inducing. They were just just really hard to deal with in general. And when it comes to Blake, looking at her character and her running away when she did, you know, because of her being a fondness and trying to accept herself in that regard, I get that. I get that entirely because some people do do that. Because some people do have a hard time accepting themselves. And, you know, some people don't want to deal with their problems because sometimes it can be a very hard thing to deal with. Sometimes they feel like they'll never get past those problems and they feel to run away from them may be the best thing to do. And I get that. I get what Blake did there. And it's relatable to me because running away from your problems, I can see why people would do it. I'm not saying to do it, but I'm saying I get why some people do. And... Seeing this from Blake made a lot of sense, and sometimes you feel like you can't trust anybody. Sometimes life makes you feel like you can't, and it made sense as to why Blake ran away, really, instead of talking out with her friends right away, and I see that. And it's it's a hard thing, because whenever that situation arises, and you feel like that's what you have to do, that you can't trust people, it's it's difficult. It's, it's very hard, but for Blake to overcome that was great, and I loved seeing that because that's what I wanted to see out of her character. And that's something that I've worked with as well, is trying to deal with the problems face up instead of running away from them, in which I relate to. And I'd say the biggest character of Team Ruby that I relate to is Weiss. Out of all four of them, Weiss is the one I relate to the most because I understand being isolated and pushing people away. I get that. There are some issues in life that you feel like you can't trust people. There are some times where people make you push them away. There are times to where you feel like you can't trust anybody. And it makes sense why Weiss felt the way she did, because of how her father and her family situation went for her. This makes complete sense, because if you went through the issues like Weiss did, I don't see how you would really want to have too many people too close to you because you'd be afraid that they could betray you at any minute. You feel like they could throw you on the wayside for anything, or maybe even use you. And I have to say that when it came to Weiss, she was certainly someone I could relate to. And even though some people had issues with Weiss in the beginning, her story makes sense. As a Sundere character, if you know how Sundares are, they warm up over time. They're cold in the beginning, but they warm up over time, and that was Weiss. She obviously was a cold and distant character in the beginning, but over time she has certainly warmed up, 
and I enjoy that, and that's how I was. If you knew me like 10 years ago, I was an edgelord 100%. It's kind of funny to look back at now. But if there's one big thing that Ruby has introduced me to, and to me it's the biggest thing, it's all of you. This fandom is wonderful, and I enjoy each and every one of you. All of you mean the world to me, and if I had never watched Ruby or even gave it a chance... I would never have met any of you, and all of you are the world to me. I feel like I belong here, and I have to thank all of you for that. Talking to all of you, hearing your opinions, what you think, you know, just talking to you in general, it means the world to me, and I feel like I actually have found a place where I belong, and it truly means the world to me. And without Ruby, I never would have met any of you, and that means everything to me it really does i learn things from you all as well and i can't thank you all enough for how wonderful each one of you are each one of you are special to me in your own way and ruby means a lot to me it's got a very special place in my heart for these multiple reasons and that's what ruby means to me it means everything it means such a big important influence and an inspiration to me not only this but ruby inspires me to do better for everyone to be the best version of me that i can be and i always do my best for myself and i want to do my best for all of you like i have previously i want to continue to do my best for all of you but anyways the big question here today is what does ruby mean to you that's something i want to know but anyways thank you all for watching and i truly appreciate you taking your time I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.